Today I'm going to be talking about battery power for the electric eel wheel e-spinners. I'll start off with the electric eel wheel nano 2. So I designed this one to be very easy to use with various USB batteries. So it actually has a micro USB plug uh, right there and that plug just uses a standard uh, USB micro plug. So those often came with came as chargers with the previous generation of mobile phones. And a lot of people already have a plug. Now I send it with a plug that has a switch and some extension cords to make it easier to use and things. But if you lose those cords, you can actually just use any USB micro plug and it should work. The only requirement is that it needs to have support over one amp, which almost all charging systems do these days. Uh, for example, one of the battery packs that I like to use are these talent cell battery packs and there's basically two different sizes of these. The important thing here is this USB plug. These USB plugs on the talent cell support two amps, which is still twice as much as you need to power the electric eel wheel nano 2. So um, you will plug your cable in here and it works. Now you can also get battery packs from you know big box stores like Target and Walmart and a lot of people already have something like this sitting around their home that they use to ch charge their cell phone. All of those should work. Again, the only thing you want to look for is that it has a USB port and that it supports at least one amp charging, which most will support more than that. And here's a bit fancier of a battery pack. This is a basis battery pack. And again, it has USB ports. It's got some USB-C ports that I'll be talking about in a little bit. Those are the little ones. But the big ones are just standard USB Type-A ports. And that means it works with the electric e wheel Nano 2. Uh, these actually support five amps. So five times as much power as you need, but uh, it definitely works good with the Nano 2. So this is the electric eel wheel six, and it requires a 12 volt input. So it's a higher voltage, and it requires too much power for a typical USB plug. So instead of USB, if you want to use a battery with these, I, in the past I've always recommended these talent cell battery packs. And the reason for that is that they have these 12 volt output ports. It's just a barrel jack. And with those, you're able to output the correct voltage at three amps, which is more than you need for the electric eel wheel six. And it provides enough power and these last for a long time. So uh, I'll have links to both of these battery packs in the show notes for this video, but I like these, they're nice and simple. The only thing that confuses a few people is that it comes with these strange cables, but basically it's so you can plug the charger into this without unplugging the battery pack. I generally don't recommend doing that. I recommend just taking this out and plugging the charger in when you need to charge the battery pack. And then you just use these two ends of the cable to plug in one to the battery pack and you plug the other into the back of the electric EO wheel six and you're good to go. Now I know some people don't have easy access to these talent cell battery packs. And if you don't, one option is if you can get a three cell lithium battery pack, it'll have a nominal output voltage of about 11.1 volts. Uh, so when it's fully charged, it'll be higher than that. When it's fully discharged, it'll be a little lower than that. But if you can get the right connectors and a three cell lithium ion ba battery pack, uh, that will generally work well with the electric eel wheel six, but usually it doesn't have the right connectors and it's kind of hard to set up. So it's not a top recommendation, which is why I like those talent cell. They just come with the right cord and you're ready to go. Now, the last option I'm going to be talking about today is USB-C. Now, I haven't ever recommended it in the past just because it's so complicated. I actually used to develop chips that go inside of uh, cellular phones and I worked on similar specs to USB-C then and I under because of that I understand the USB-C spec fairly well and it's still complicated for me to figure out which parts to get and what will be compatible with what. Uh, 
it's possible, but so much of the um, USB-C battery packs out there just don't have the specs necessary uh, on their short description, like on Amazon and things, to know if they'll work or not. They just don't, they don't have enough information. But um, in the show notes, I'll specify exactly what you need, so you don't have to remember exactly what I'm saying here. So what you're gonna wanna find is some a battery pack that has PD, so that stands for power distribution, and specifically, you're gonna to wanna to find one that has PD of 25 watts or higher for a 12 volt system. So PD 12 volts at 25 or higher watts. Uh, the reason for that is that will guarantee that you have two amps of output at 12 volts. And uh, this battery pack says it's 65 watts for PD, but <laughs> That's at 20 volts. If you look further into the details, it's actually 35 watts for 12 volts. It's a 35 watt PD for 12 volts. If you look in the details, and that's enough, right? That's, that's gonna be three amps, which is more than enough for the electric eel wheel six, and you'll be good to go. However, in order to get 12 volts out of this little port, you can't just plug in a standard cable. I have a special cable here that specifically talks to this battery pack and says, I want 12 volts at the most current you can provide. So that's actually, there's actually a little microchip in here that uh, discusses protocols with this battery pack to get the correct, correct power. And that's because by default, USB-C only supports five volts, just like US, other USB protocols, but if the cable in this case asked for the correct voltage, this will then output a higher voltage. And it gets um, really complicated, like what happens? So this cable can be plugged into um, a USB-C port that just doesn't support power distribution at 12 volts, and then it's not going to be able to get it. It could support USB it could support power distribution at different voltages than 12 volts, and it's just not going to have any output again. So um, anyways, all of this complication is why I haven't recommended these, but if you get this magic cable and a compatible either USB-C charger with power distribution or battery pack with power distribution of you know 25 watts at 12 volts or more watts is also fine, then it will work. So I'll just demonstrate that. Uh, so it's USB-C, you just plug it in. You can plug it in here and it magically works. So it is a nice system, but figuring that out. So I will write in the show notes what you need to check for if you're gonna to try to find a solution like this. But honestly, I like these talent cells because they're, they're really simple and I know they work. And uh, they support both the Nano 2 and the Electric EO Wheel 6. They'll also support the Cone Winder for sure when that comes out. Uh, I know that that's going to have the same power requirements as the electric EOWheel 6. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.